Now, we are going to talk about a very important field in innovative education. I mean emotional intelligence. And for that, we have one of the biggest experts in the world. Um, because she has more than 25 years experience in the classroom as a um, psychologist and pedagogist and she is the co-author of a very important scientific study about chess and emotional intelligence and she is also leading the Canary Island program on educational chess which has been selected as the Hungarian one by FIDE as a model of good practice. Please welcome Lorena Garcia. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. It is my honor uh, to be at the Jazz, jazz Festival. Uh, I would like uh, uh, to thank Judith for the invitation. Thank you. Let me explain how we are going to do this. This was going to be the first Lorena's lecture in English, but she doesn't feel confident enough to do it in English. So what we are going to do is I will read her text in English, okay? Thank you, Leoncio. <laughs> we can start. <clears throat> I would like to share with you the educational experience that we have had in the Canary Islands with CES for the last six years. <clears throat> Through the images, I hope you can see the enthusiasm which we work and above all, the enthusiasm and enjoyment that our students show. We believe that chess and emotional intelligence are closely linked. That is why our entire project is based on this fundamental union. The best way to learn and grow is by playing. Chess gives us the game, it gives us learning through play with oneself and with others. Sometimes we do this learning in a free, spontaneous way where boys and girls play as they wish and other times this learning takes the approach of a more guided way where the teacher provides students with a set of tools so that little by little they build their own learning. That means chess is an excellent educational tool and we use chess in schools to work in different academic areas and cognitive and social emotional skills. In 2012, I had the great fortune of working with a research team from the La Laguna University in Tenerife with Ramona Ciego and Moises Betancourt. We found that chess not only improves cognitive abilities, but also social emotional abilities. We have seen improvements in the following areas. Personal adjustment, satisfaction in school, school adaptation to a greater degree regarding study, and presented better strategies for problem solving. This type of study <coughs> supports why educational chess must be in schools. I like to tell my colleagues that you can look at chess in a new way from an emotional intelligence view. Our project in the Canary Islands is called educating youngsters, little people, not champions. The main courses of work in this project are the following. First, we take chess to schools. We take advantage of every corner, as you can see here. We make chess visible to the entire educational community. Then, we work from early childhood education to secondary education. In educational chess, movement is very important. We work a lot on body expression. We value 
very much the freedom to express oneself. Uh, that is why we adapt different spaces to the type of students we have and to the activity that we are carry out. In this project, our way of teaching chess is based on emotional intelligence. We work mainly empathy, learning to win and lose, self-esteem, perseverance, flexible thinking, teamwork, individual work, self-improvement, among other things. In this kind of project, the fundamental key to our success is the role of the teacher. The teacher has to believe in him or herself and enjoy teaching. Another fundamental pillar is innovation with the resources we use in the classroom and the designing of different activities. <clears throat> Technological tools are very important, but also traditional and simple material. We combine robotics and chess, thus motivating the students a lot. We work um, <clears throat> at um, educating youngsters. We work in different areas. Teamwork and individual work play, <coughs> play a very important role. And we, we teach chess through movement and music. I'll show you an example of how fun it is to learn with music and chess lyrics. These songs are by the band Tocada Movida. The singer is Alejandro Oliva. The group of students are five years old, and it is one of the first chess sessions. Is not a video here? No? OK. Chess is creativity in learning for the student and for the teacher. They both create together. And as it is with chess, each one of us is different, but just as important. As a team, we function better. Chess is for everyone, no matter your ability. We can all learn and grow by playing. Now, this is my opinion. This is a very important part of the lecture. Chess teaches uh, us to observe, think, and decide, but also to feel, reflect, and act. Then cognitive meets the emotional. We learn from surprise, from what excites us, Chess teaches us to think, to feel, and helps us to smile. The teacher just has to understand that it is educational chess and play. <clears throat> this video is a very nice example of it. Motivated teacher, happy students, please play the video on. ¿Se llama el juego? En marcha el tren de los peones. ¡Vamos! Muy bien, chicos. Somos un equipo. Es un juego, nada más. Muy bien. Muy bien. Trabajamos en equipo. Finally, uh, I would like to inv invite everyone to get excited about educational chess. Thank you. Thank you. So, <clears throat> Lorena, thank you very much. If I understand well, here the key element is the school teacher. Sí. In Spanish, mm -hmm. eh, 
Creo que los maestros son el secreto, son la llave, porque ellos son los que pueden motivar al alumnado y trabajar todo lo que son habilidades cognitivas y sociopersonales. Yeah, I'm convinced that the school teachers are the key uh, element because they have, they can motivate the students in both the uh, cognitive skills and the social emotional abilities as well. And what about families? How important it is to involve them? Uh, it is very important um, because forman parte de la educación de los niños y por eso los invitamos a las escuelas. Es decir, no podemos trabajar en la escuela sin pensar en la familia. Son, and they are really very important because we cannot think about education without involving the families as well. So then I guess that you are inviting them, inviting the families to come to the school for different activities, right? Yes, yes. Sometimes they they are inviting mothers and fathers to come to the school and do something with the children related to educational chess. And this is important because and also, also you have some um, songs, chess songs, and then the children are bringing the songs to the family, <coughs> right? <laughs> Very good. So, thanks a lot, Lorena, and Thank. keep going because your work is really very important. I'm sorry, my English is uh, not very well. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.